Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Talk. Here's your host, Lakshmi and Slim. Hi. Make some noise, make some noise. Host, Lakshmi Singh. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Talk. I'm your host, Fahir Aziz, a.k.a. Slick. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Let's Talk. That's right, guys. It's a show about us, our people, our community, our culture. Yes, yes, Lach, what's going on? Long week. Oh, my God. Long, fantastic week. The weather is getting better. I'm just loving it outside. Yes, everyone is trying to get that 2017 summer body in play. That's right. You know what? You look like you've been working out there. I've been staying away from the little rice, roti, trying to do the cardio thing. We'll see how it works out. Walking? Something like that. Okay. Well, you know what? It's like, did you catch the Super Bowl game? Super Bowl. Super Bowl was amazing. Super Bowl made history this year, guys. It actually was the first time that Super Bowl went into overtime. The score was 28-28. Patriots, Tom Brady, they took the win. It was definitely, definitely a good game. If you had money on that game, I hope you bet it on the Patriots. How many of you guys had some money on that game? I had money on that game, and um, let's just say uh, it didn't really work out for me. Could you not bet on Tom Brady? Come on. You know me. I always take the underdogs. All right. Well, let's talk about the entertainment for Super Bowl. Did you catch Lady Gaga's performance? Lady Gaga's performance was amazing. Did every anyone anyone see the halftime show? Yes. That jump. Oh my God. That jump was fantastic. You know what? Let's talk, crew. Can we get a clip of Lady Gaga's performance? Okay. Yeah, let's take a look let's at take that. A look. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh my God, Slick, I'm afraid of heights. Would you do that? I'm afraid of heights. If the, support or no support, I couldn't do that. Do you see that? That takes bravery. Speaking of the Super Bowl, one of my good friends, but actually he's a closer friend to you, um, Terry Godraj, he was there, right? That's right, Terry Godraj, Mr. Guyana Babu himself, was there at Super Bowl. You know, it was actually my birthday weekend. And he was supposed to come to my birthday party, but he says to me, Lux, I got like front row tickets to the Super Bowl. So I wasn't mad at him. I said, that's really great news. Go be there at Super Bowl. I'll forgive you this time. But you know what? He had, for the very first time that I ever saw, a Caribbean flag flying high and proud at Super Bowl. Yes. Mr. Terry Godraj had the guy on a flag high in the air. It was a 15 by 10. It was noticed. It went viral. Slick, look, it's on the TV. So he was right in front. He had that. This went absolutely crazy on social media, viral. Now, do you think that's considered legendary or distasteful at all? First off, those seats, phew, I want to know how he got those seats. But beside that, anybody representing their country what he did, a man from Guyana, represented where he's from. I would tell everyone, no matter where you're from, always represent where you come from. It actually makes you the person that you are. Well, you know what? Speaking of our Chutney King of Guyana, you know, we just had the Chutney Soka Monarch. And for the yes, very yes, first yes, yes. time, there was a tie at Chutney Soka Monarch. It was Ravi B and Umadat Maharaj. That's, you know what? They both do an amazing job. But beside that, the Chutney Soka Monarch Challenge. Mm. I don't know how many of you could know this name or remember this name. I'm pretty sure you will. Chris Garcia. Are you guys familiar with Chris Garcia? Anybody remember Chutney Bacchanal? Da -da -da, oh. da -da -da. Well, Chris Garcia, after 20 years, won the Chutney Soka Challenge with his Chutney Bacchanal song. He won $100,000. You know, 
Whoa, hundred a hundred thousand dollars? A hundred thousand TT dollars. TT US? Okay, so US, that's about fifteen thousand dollars, I'd say. US, TT, GT, whatever. I taking <laughs> it how it come. We'll take it. Money sharing, we're taking it. But you know what? He absolutely deserved that trophy, that award, and that prize money. One hundred percent. Come on, guys. Twenty years ago you came out with a hot single. And 20 years later, you come back and take the prize? Give that man a round of applause, right. man. He's definitely putting in his good work. Well, guys, speaking of chutney artists, we have our very own local chutney artist right here. For the past five years, this young artist, he's charismatic. He's been traveling internationally. Trinidad, Guyana, Aruba, you name it, he has been there, and he's here right now, right here on the Let's Talk set. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna take a break and when we come back on, we're gonna bring you that special artist. Boom, bang, let's talk. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Let's talk. <laughs> Planning a vacation? Contact Travelspan for the best service and deals to Guyana, Trinidad, the Caribbean, and anywhere in the world. Ask about our special Caribbean packages, our cruise packages, and our escorted tours to Dubai and India. Contact Travelspan now at 718-845-0437 or book online at Travelspan.com. Travelspan, a finer quality in travel. Welcome guys back from commercial break. Well, we're here on Let's Talk and I'm so excited to bring on our first guest artiste this evening on Let's Talk. Guys, he has been singing since the age of two. He is the lead vocalist of his band, Naturally Reckless. Guys, let's bring on Randy Randon. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How are you? How are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? How are you welcome, welcome. Mr. Ramden, pleasure to have you on the show. Pleasure to be here. Thank Other you than seeing you out on the weekends, I get to see you now here. <laughs> I pleasure love to have seeing you, you live. I mean, I'm so used to seeing you on stage. I mean, I've been to Guyana, Trinidad, I've been to Aruba, I've been to Florida, Canada, seeing you on stage, but Having you right here sitting next to us is so exciting, Randy. It's out of the norm, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's out of the norm, exactly. So, Randy, you know, I read that one of your influences is the legendary Kishore Kumar. Mm -hmm. Who else would you say are your musical influences? Well, growing up, my uncle was a very big Bollywood person, so Kishore Kumar, but uh, I don't know. I just loved it, jumping wave music, uh -huh. and there's a breakaway music. So, Ramde Chaitu is a very prominent singer from Suriname and Holland. And there's much more that I can possibly say, but those two are basically the ones that stand out. I've been our, um, our Terry Godraj that we showed earlier. You know, he's a very big um, influence on myself. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's good, yes. man. That's good. I, you always got to start somewhere. You always start mm -hmm. with influence that makes you get that drive to give you that, that performance. So I would say those, those guys influencing is definitely the right direction to go. But I also know that you do different types of genres of music. You do... You do soca, you do chutney, you even do a little bit of the Indian. Yes. What, what's your favorite type of genre for you to perform? And also, beside that, what's your favorite song, bro? T tell us. Hmm. Uh, my favorite genre of music, as long as the people are dancing, I'm fine. But I've always had something for chutney. Chutney, now, that's, that's yeah. your passion. That's my passion, yes. Now, over the years, uh, everyone has their own views on chutney. Some of these guys make what we call rum songs, which is not the greatest of music, but it's enjoyable. But, but, you, but, go but you have to say, the rum songs do sell. Yeah, they do. They at, do sell. At 11 o'clock, 11 at night and a party? No. At 2 o'clock in the morning? Definitely. I mean, that's very interesting that you <clears throat> brought up. Like, I mean, I have a lot of friends mm -hmm. that, you know, sing the classical music. And, you know, they always say one thing to me, which is, Laksh, you know, these chutney artists, they get to fly everywhere and go here and go there. And they're singing about, like, rum or shaking and whining. But my classical music is not getting anywhere. Why would you say that is? Um, I believe the music changes and the population, the generation changes by all means. You could say the thing, thing, same thing for soca, same thing for reggae. But us as uh, another generation, we definitely have to piggyback in them, keep that image alive for them. So mm -hmm. that's what we're definitely doing with my group, Naturally Reckless. Awesome. I'll agree with you on the fact that the generation has changed. Mm -hmm. 
um, I'm not going to mention your age, <laughs> the time of my generation, it wasn't really on the subject of rum singing and rum drinking and this and this and that that sell, but the generation does change. I agree where you're going, but speaking of going, you yourself, you with your band, Natural Reckless, where do you see yourself in like about, say, six months, maybe even, let's say, two years? Where do you see yourself with your band in upcoming? What do you guys have planned? Honestly, the band that I have behind me, all the guys, whether they come and they've gone or they stuck their throughout, they've all been a great support. I can't thank, I can't thank them any much more than I can give back to them. But honestly, our type of music, I believe that it should be mainstream. It should be understood by the country we stand in, which is the United States of America. If everyone else can bring their, all their customs and all their beliefs into our country, why can't we make an impact? We live here. We can do, best we can do is take what our parents gave us from back home and come here. Okay, all right, that's fine, that's good. You know, Randy, outside of music, I know you're very involved with humanitarian yes. work. I know you're very active with the Nirvana Humanitarian Foundation as well as the Save Abbey Foundation. What would you say are your activities outside of the musical world? Uh, honestly, music is life. So, like I said, everything related to music. But on top of music, we play tassa, which is a type of um, a type of instrument that comes from the land of Trinidad and Tobago. It's usually used at weddings and ceremonies. So we have. That as an aspect, we have event planning because when we have, we have, do a lot of weddings, um, we're recording a lot. Um, other than that, just having a regular life. Girls, well, cars, drinks. <laughs> what is girls, your regular life? Wait li a minute, he said girls. So oh. is there a special lady in your life? Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, no, maybe. Well, well Which it depends. One now, you said no and you said maybe. Maybe is always sometimes yes. Just like Facebook would say, it's complicated. It's so, complicated. so what you're telling me is yeah. that if it's not on Facebook, it's not true. Ah, oh, my <laughs> man, my man, my man. Well, you know what, Randy? We were talking about the Chutney Soka Monarch. Yes. It is carnival season. You've been singing everywhere. I mean, every time I see a promotion or a flyer, I see Randy Ramson. I see Reckless. Now. Are we going to see you perform for Chetney Soka Monarch soon? Well, like I said, it's a growing process and a stepping process. We actually made our first attempt this year in 2016, 2017, recording a song in a big studio in Trinidad that makes all those songs come out um, called Maha Productions. So it's step by step. Um, we got our foot in. We, got our, we, we tested the waters. We definitely love it. So myself as well as my team are definitely going back this year. And I can guarantee you, sure, I'll be submitting my entry for 2018 Chutney awesome. Soka Monarch, and hopefully we get paid. And picked. you write a lot of your own music. Yes, we write. I write music for myself. I've written for artists as well before. What but, are some of the artists that you vote um, for, if, if you don't mind to elaborate yeah, sure. on that? Um, you may have heard um, Nishad Sultan. I wrote for Shiva Lakhan before. Um, definitely trying to work with more, more artists as time comes along. But as I said, still trying to create a great image for myself and my group. Right. Really exciting, really, really humble. I heard that you're going to be emceeing and performing at a wedding in the Maldives. Is that true? Yes, we are. We have for this 2017. We actually have Maldives. We have Mexico. We're growing. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to take our music outside of outside of the United States and outside of the realm of the West Indian community, so they can understand what we're about. Awesome. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for taking our Caribbean people to the next level. Thank you. Well, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. Stay in your seats because in just a few moments. Randy, Reckless Entertainment, his whole band is here and they're going to be performing for us right here on Let's Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, make a big round of applause for Randy, yeah. Randy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Two months ago, after my mother's hospitalization, the doctors wanted to put her in hospice. And I'm like, you know, they deemed her terminal. And I saw Mr. Takur, I think the founder, on TV, and um, he was advertising this Indian community in Kings Harbor. It's a great Indian community where uh, my mother feels at home and she expresses her happiness to me whenever I come. I know when I come I feel happy. I stay a couple and I see everybody and I'm so happy. I brought my mother here like a month and a half ago and I haven't regretted my decision. It's one of the best decisions I've made for my mother. It's a home away from home.
Welcome back guys to Let's Talk. Well, next up, we have our Caribbean American sweetheart. She is only 14 years old, guys. She is a model, she is a dancer, and she's a humanitarian. But best yet, she's a contestant in the 2017 Miss New York Outstanding Teen Pageant. Guys, let's give it up for Kayla Kumar. <laughs> Look at how beautiful you are. Ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, come on. <laughs> Big round of applause for Miss Kayla Kumar. Look at you, honey. You look beautiful. You look amazing. Thank you. Young teen. Love your outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of your outfit, I noticed you're wearing a, a that's a gold gold yes. ribbon, right? Yes. Well, um, what is uh, what is the significance of the gold ribbon? So, having the opportunity to compete in the Miss America's Outstanding Team program, I have to have a platform, and my platform is pediatric cancer. And my job is to bring awareness and to raise funds for pediatric cancer. So, I sell my gold ribbon to bring awareness. Hmm. So now everyone, every, all the contestants in the Miss America Outstanding Teen Pageant, everyone has to have a platform, yes. right? Why did you pick your, that, that, the platform that you picked? Well, my baby cousin was actually diagnosed with a brain tumor. Oh, and, sorry to hear that. Thank you. And my great grandmother, she battled breast cancer for 15 years and she passed of a heart attack. And I know what families go through. I've seen it and I've experienced it. And I want to be a part of that change. Only imagining what children go through, it's tough. So I want to make a difference and I want to help them. How old was your grandma? She, oh, let's say early 70s. What was her name? I, uh, I grandma. Yeah. Round of applause for grandma. grandma. I mean, Kayla, you are doing so much. I read that you have over three thousand hours of humanitarian work. Yes. You've raised over thirty thousand dollars for the St. Jude's, which you actually got a citation from Governor Cuomo for, yes. and you even have received a four-year scholarship. Yeah to Archbishop Malloy High School. How do you keep up with all that you do and still be a teenager? It, it can be difficult at times, but I want to make a difference and I want to make a change and I'm determined to do that. And it's time management and I want to be able to continue being me, so I make time. You know what? <laughs> the name of the show is Let's Talk. That's something to talk about. <laughs> So, Miss Kumar, <laughs> I know you're into fashion. Yeah. You look amazing. Thank you. You have a beautiful outfit. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this she, is the she, first. She matches us. She's wearing pink. Of course. She called me and I told her. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is one of the first Indo-Caribbean models for Target. And also, the famous designer from India, Satya Paul. How did that affect you and how, how was that experience? It was actually really surprising because I wasn't a big model when I modeled for Target. It was one of my first jobs and I was really nervous because I was the only brown girl there and I had braces and I was really skinny. So I was like, I'm definitely not going to get this. My braces, I'm so skinny. I'm like, they're not going to choose me. And when I got the call back, I was like, oh my goodness, this is actually happening. I was really shocked, but ever since then, put my mind to it and I believe in myself. Two things before you continue, honey. Brown is beautiful. Thank you. Two, I I <laughs> didn't have braces. And guess what? Let's Talk chose me. So hands off to you. Thank you. Well, you know, we have to thank Mama. Yeah. We have to thank Mama for those braces. Your teeth are beautiful. Thank they are you. perfect. You, you know, know what? Give us a smile. Call gate. All right. <laughs> Next up, Mama, let's hit up Call gate. But you know what? Speaking of Mama, you mm -hmm. know, Mama and I go a little way back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you were starting your dancing, mm -hmm. you know, Mama reached out to me and, you know, she told me about all the great things that you're doing. But throughout the years, you know, I always told her, you know, get you into mainstream. Get you mm -hmm. into American modeling. Get mm -hmm. you into American dancing. And that is what she has done. You followed everything that Mama said. That's mm -hmm. why you're 
you're modeling for people like Satya Paul. Yeah. You're modeling for people like Target. But one thing that Mama recently told me is that you have been the target of a bullying campaign. Yes. That people are bullying you because of what you're doing, your mm -hmm. modeling and, and your dancing. What was that experience like? It was hard because I've been bullied since I was about to say in kindergarten and growing up with it you would think that it would change but I feel like it's only gotten worse. So like what are some things that would happen to you? I would get, I recently got a text message um, that said I need to shave my arms, I'm an Indian, bad word, um, and I didn't really know how to react to it. I've never been okay, told so here, that. Okay, so here's how you're going to react to it. You're going to give Slick that phone number and I'll take care of everything from there. <laughs> Well, how did you cope with it, honey? Um, well, my mom actually saw it before I did. So she responded and asked who it was. And she said that if they didn't tell them, you know, it was going to go taken to the precinct. Because I, it's, it's getting worse. And it's hard because, you know, the people that you trust sometimes, like, to see them hurt you, it's really what hurts most. And, I mean, I've grown from it. I've learned to believe in myself. And it's boosted my confidence a lot more. Well, Kelly, you're representing the greater New York yeah. in the Miss America's Outstanding Teen Pageant. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we know that there was a brown girl <laughs> that won, yeah. you know, Miss America before. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how you feel that a brown person, like you said, mm -hmm. won the Miss America pageant before. I think it was really inspiring to me because I think she opened the doors a Nina, lot. Right? Yes, I did meet Nina. She opened the doors a lot for me because I was really nervous. I'm like competing on that stage. No one's going to understand Bollywood dancing. No one's going to understand why I do it. And now that everybody saw how much fun she had and it was her passion, I was like, okay, they'll understand it now where it's coming from with me. You know what, honey? Everything that you're doing mm -hmm. is positive. Everything you. that you're going to do <laughs> in life will always have some negativity. Yeah. But you stay positive and you keep driving at the person that you are and you have nothing but success, success come your way. Thank you. How do you think Slick got where he is? He keeps on driving. <laughs> and, and going to the gym trying to lose some weight. Now, Nina did a fantastic job as her mm -hmm. talent with dancing. I know you're a dancer as well. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your dancing. I've been dancing since I was four years old, and it's been my passion ever since. It's my escape from the real world is how I express myself and just let everything flow. Have you ever seen her dance? I haven't seen you dance, but I was told a little bit by the uh, Let's Talk team that you might actually be performing later on. Is that true? Yes. All right, all right. Well, Kayla, I know that you have been trained in several different types of yes. Indian classical dancing. Yes. I mean, we have Kathak, we have Bharatnatyam, mm -hmm. we have uh, Kuchipudi, we mm -hmm. have Urusi. There are just so many types. There is a Bollywood. Yeah. What would you say is your favorite type of dancing? Definitely Bharatnatyam. It's, it's always been my favorite. Okay. Well, I know that you're going to be performing a little semi-classical yeah. Bollywood style, so are we going to be seeing some Bharatnatyam yeah. in that? Ms. Kumar, last question. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years. Hopefully, um, a freshman at Johns Hopkins University in Maryland, because I want to be a pediatric oncologist. Awesome. <laughs> well, you know what? I know there are a lot of people watching the show, a lot of boys. I just got a, a question for you. Do you get hit on a lot by boys? Do we have a boyfriend? No. No. Okay, good. Stay that way. When you do get a boyfriend, you tell them this. Boom, bang, let's talk. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, when we come back, we're going to have Kayla perform right here on Let's Talk. Would you guys like that? All right. <laughs> Two months ago, after my mother's hospitalization, the doctors wanted to put her in hospice. And I'm like, you know, they deemed her terminal. And I saw Mr. Takur, I think the founder, on TV. And um, he was advertising this Indian community in Kings Harbor. It's a great Indian community where uh, my mother feels at home and she expresses her happiness to me whenever I come. I know when I come, I feel happy. I stay a couple and I see everybody and I'm so happy. I brought my mother here like a month and a half ago and I haven't regretted my decision. It's one of the best decisions I've made for my mother. It's a home away from home.
Well, guys, just as we promised, we have young 14-year-old Kayla Kumar. She's going to perform live right here on Let's Talk. She'll be doing a special Bollywood mix. Kayla. Let's talk. <laughs> Yeah. 
Planning a vacation? Contact Travelspan for the best service and deals to Guyana, Trinidad, the Caribbean, and anywhere in the world. Ask about our special Caribbean packages, our cruise packages, and our escorted tours to Dubai and India. Contact Travelspan now at 718-845-0437 or book online at Travelspan.com. Travelspan, a finer quality in travel. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Like we promised you, we had Naturally Reckless with Mr. Ram Dean here performing his hit single. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, do your thing. Khub jalki, khub jalki, khub jalki saya, khub jalki. Ora hariya ke patiya, khub jalki. Ora hariya ke patiya, khub jalki.
के हो हम मसल गए ले हो रंग दाल के हो हलवा मसल गए ले हो रंग दाल के हो हलवा बोला बारी बोला बारी 